Just recently in January, Shop Disney and the Disney Parks released the first set in the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction monthly series. This is a series similar to the Mickey Memories that Shop Disney did a few years ago. It features a collectible plush, a lounge fly bag, pin set, mug, magic band at Disney World, and then also limited release Minnie Mouse ears. The first month released was all themed to Space Mountain, and out of all the items in that set, the Minnie Mouse ears seem to be the most popular. Currently, regular Minnie Mouse ears in the parks retail for about $30, but since the ears were limited release, those had a retail of $35. They seemed to go on Shop Disney very quickly. People were buying them up like crazy in the Disney parks, and if you look on eBay, there are oodles and oodles of these being resold for extremely high amounts, upwards of between $60 to $100 for a pair of ears. So already I think that this series is way more successful and everything Disney kind of hoped the Disney Parks designer collection would be. Those ears are also limited release ears, but they have a really high retail price. And for a lot of those ears, the designs are kind of weird. However, with this Minnie Mouse series, because it is a strict designated monthly collection and kind of gets your collector's hype set up, its retail price isn't too much over what's actually sold in the Disney parks. And it seems like they actually did put out a pretty limited amount. I think actual physical Disney stores only got like six pairs each. So they were able to create a lot of of hype, a lot of scarcity and demand. However, I decided to skip out on any of the ears or merchandise from this month instead, and I decided, you know what, I think I can DIY these pair of ears. I've started a series on my channel called Designer vs. DIY, where I do DIY versions of the Disney Parks designer ears. And so today we're basically going to be doing that, but this is really just going to be Disney vs. DIY, and I'm going to show you my DIY for how to make these Space Mountain Minnie Mouse main attraction ears. They're quite simple to make if you've made Minnie Mouse ears before, and I'm going to link to all of the key items used in the description, particularly this little mesh tubing, and the one that I found looks to be pretty much identical to the one on the actual ears. Luckily, I did have the majority of supplies needed on hand, so I only needed to order a few things, so this turned out to be a really cheap DIY, and I really am so excited with how these came out because I think they look really awesome. So here's just a close-up on the ears themselves. I have a kind of sparkly purple headband on there, silver sequin fabric, which I added some white to since the actual ears are white and silver sequins. I have the mesh tubing with the silver accents, my purpley galactic bow, and then my little Space Mountain emblem. Because these ears do seem to be in high demand and a lot of people did miss out on getting them, I will be giving away this pair that I've made. And if you stick around for the end of the video, I'll give the details on how you can win this pair. I have this super pretty purple fabric with silver sparkle accents on hand that I'm going to use to cover my one inch plastic headband. Once covered, I added white braid trim on the inside. For the ears, I'm using this silver sequin fabric I got on Amazon, which is actually sold as a table runner. Because the material is a bit sheer, I'm using the silver fabric I had on hand as a liner. Then for the bow, I'm using this galactic fabric from Joann's, which I also had on hand. To make the ears, I'm going to fold together my silver liner fabric and trace out my ear template. I use an 11 centimeter diameter circle to sew my ears. Then with a 10 centimeter diameter circle with an arc at the bottom, I mark where my sewing opening will be. Repeat drawing your pattern a second time. Then just roughly cut out your fabric so that you have four pieces total, two with a pattern on it. Using that fabric as a guide, cut out four pieces from your silver sequin fabric. Assemble the pieces for sewing. Put two sequin pieces right sides together. Add a silver piece on top, wrong sides up. Then add your wrong sides up pattern to the other side and pin all pieces of fabric together, repeating all these steps for the second ear.
We're now going to sew around our ear. Begin sewing where marked and continue around the second marking, leaving the bottom open for stuffing. Repeat for the second ear. Remove the pins and cut off excess material, being sure to leave some extra material around the opening at the bottom. Then turn your ears right sides out. To add support to my ears, I always use this quarter inch thick foam from Joann's which I cut out using my 10 centimeter diameter template. Place the foam inside each ear. Next, use fiber fill to stuff your ears to the desired puffiness. Once stuffed, I'm going to hand sew the bottoms closed. Fold down one side of the flap, then tuck and fold the other side. Then just use a simple whip stitch to sew the bottom closed. off and hide the thread. Repeat for the second ear. We're then going to mark our headband. Find the center of the headband and make a mark. Measure four centimeters down on each side and mark. This will be our guide for where to attach the ears. I'm now going to hand sew the ears onto the headband. Pass the needle through the bottom corner of the ear, then sew through the headband just above where I'm marked. Rotate between stitching in the ear and then the headband. Sew around the ear a total of two times. If you're not comfortable with sewing, you can always use hot glue for any of the sewing steps, but I prefer the more professional sewn look. Once you've gone around the second time, tie off, hide your thread, and then attach the second ear.
With both ears now attached, I'm going to use this white paint marker to paint some of the sequins white. This will help to better match the white and silver sequins of the real ears. Leave that to dry and we can make our bow. From a more purple part of the fabric, I cut out a 28 by 20 centimeter rectangle. I also cut out a four and a half by 10 centimeter piece for the bow center. To add more body to my bow, I cut out a 27 by 10 centimeter rectangle from the black flannel fabric. Place the black fabric in the center of the bow fabric and use hot glue to secure and attach on all sides. While I really like to sew my ears, for some reason I really enjoy hot glue bows. down both ends of the fabric to meet in the middle and glue down. Then accordion fold the bow and use hot glue to secure at all full points. For the bow center, glue down the edges so that they meet in the middle and set aside. Now we get to use our white and silver mesh tubing, which is eight millimeters in thickness. Grab your ears as a guide. Glue one end of the tubing to the back of the ears, being sure not to burn yourself during these steps. Then adjust the tubing to form a loop that will go over the left ear and secure on the back of the bow. Now make a loop that will go over the right ear and secure. Finally, make the second loop over the left ear, secure the tubing and cut off excess. Take your bow center and attach, covering the mesh on the back. I always fold over the end for a more finished look. headband on the center marking and attach the bow, adding extra glue where needed. We now just 
first need to make our space mountain embellishment for the bow. In Illustrator, I created my own vector image base and printed out two different sizes to see which I liked best. I will link to the Space Mountain template in the description. Then cut out the image. The one I chose is four and a half centimeters across the widest part. Glue this onto a thin piece of craft foam and let dry. Using a glossy varnish, paint on a few coats to harden and protect. Let dry, then cut off the extra foam. Now finally, all we have to do is glue our space mountain onto our bow. And there you have a DIY Space Mountain Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction Ears. It worked out perfectly that this fabric actually had a hidden Mickey in the exact place that the real ears did have one, but you can always use fabric paint to paint on one of your own. There's a lot of different techniques that you can use to make the little Space Mountain embellishment, but since I don't have a Cricut, I found this to be the easiest one. I'm so surprised with how good these turned out and how much they look just like the actual ears. So I'd say this was overall a success. Now, if you'd like to win these pair of ears, all you have to do is leave a comment with which month of the Minnie Mouse main attraction you're most looking forward to. I'll link to a preview image where they tease all of the different attractions coming and which month they belong. If you enjoyed this DIY video, I am very excited to see what the small world ones are going to look like. I love the small world aesthetic. I'm also really excited for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad because that seems kind of different. They don't typically do Big Thunder in these types of, you know, standard attractions, you know, like Pirates, Mansion, Small World. And then I'm also really intrigued by the December one, which is themed to the castle because obviously you can't go wrong with a great classic Disney castle. This giveaway is open to subscribers, so please do make sure you are subscribed to my channel. If you're under the age of 18, make sure you do have your parents' permission to enter. This will be available both in the US and internationally, and you'll have one week from this video date posting to enter. So the giveaway will close on Wednesday, February 12th. I'll randomly draw one of the comments and then I'll reply to that comment and then you can message me on any of the platforms listed in the description. I've so far been having a lot of fun making DIY versions of actual ears that they release in the Disney parks, so hopefully there'll be some more fun ones coming in the future to also DIY. But thanks for watching!